And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today we are going to be focusing on creating custom columns. Now, when you display things on this form, and usually, let's say it's just text output like name, and then the name, age, then the age, you don't want it to be like, let, let me show you, I can show you here. Basically like this, name, whatever your name is, age, you don't want that, you you want this, sorry about that, as you can see, it looks a little bit neater, and this is usually the reason why we highly recommend you create your own tabs because on Delphi that does not usually happen where you where it will create the tabs perfectly for you all right so first thing we want to do is we want to click on the form go to events and then on activate or on yeah, or create you can choose any of those two both are basically the same thing all right so here we have now what we want to do is first thing we want to do is we want to add this little piece to the code red output and uh, just so we know this is red output it's rich edit and this one is bt in click which is just normal button red output dot paragraph dot tab count and this will become however many tabs you want. So let's quickly show you this. Let's go. You know what? Let's just create. Let's just open some blank text here. All right. So let's say this is your name, age. There you go. Have your thingies. And here you're putting your name, and here you're putting your age. Alright, now this one is maybe two, you can go two to be safe, but as you can see there's only one stop. So what we have here is basically saying how many tab tabs we should have inside of this reach edit. And right now we only have one tab here. Now you have to go red right output dot paragraph dot tab this time and here is where it gets a bit tricky you have to start at zero not one but zero this is something to do with arrays we'll get to that later but just for now no arrays always start at zero and this is an array so it starts at zero and then you go becomes and however big you want this. I don't know how this is actually measured. Usually you change this, you run the program, you see does it look fine. If it looks fine, you keep it. If it doesn't look fine, you change it. So let's go here. And then when we click on the button, it should do this. Display the name plus and hash nine. This or let's first show you. Let's first show you, and then we go like. I should put this in a variable, but anyways, name is Josh. Put it there. Plus hash thirteen, and then we can go age, and go like thirteen or something. All right. Let's run that and just show you how the output looks so you can get an idea of what we're trying to stop. You see, we don't want that because that one, it can be pretty hard to read it if it's like that and it's all clustered up against each other. So that's another reason uh, apart from it does, just doesn't look neat. Now, if we go plus hash nine and in here we go again, plus hash nine. Basically, this is saying create a tab. This means tab. 
tab is that button right above your cam slot that does this. Or let's do it in here, it looks better. Okay, this is space, okay, and this is tab. You can see there's a pretty big difference. Programmers usually use tab to index their things. We use tabs to make everything look better. But tabs can also be used to make things look nicer in different ways. But for now, let's just quickly comment this out so you can see how it looks without our added code. Maybe it looks okay, but then we can still use it. Okay, I see, as you can see, and sometimes this does look okay. It doesn't matter then. It's actually then not too bad. And this is a lot of times, it, this is the case. But there are a lot of cases where this is not the case and where you'll have to add your own ones like these such as these like i don't have any specific ones that can be very useful right now but as you can see 100 may be a little bit too much we can decrease this but let's say your age or this word like the first tab was like what here now let's say here was another word that surpassed that and that's when the tab things will start doing weird things where it wouldn't work out of anything else because then this things tab would be something like this or whatever something well these are all around here you know so yeah that's something you, that's why we use this so let's just show you that you can change it by decreasing this to 50. That will make it half as big. As you see, it already looks better, but it's still a little bit big. Now, in this case, using this is kind of useless. Uh, in the future, we will be using this to uh, read out text files and display everything in nice ways. If you do have the book, I recommend you go just looking at the image on page 142. That's 142. If you have the grade 11 Delphi book. Because that gives us such a beautiful example of how it should look. I wanted to take it right out of the book, but then I decided, no, I'm not going to do that because that's a lot of effort. And I'm going to show you this. So yeah, I re highly recommend you guys go check out the book if you have it. But if you don't have it, it th then it doesn't really matter that much. It's not going to change too much your perspective. It's just going to show you how it can be useful in some cases. And yeah, that's all about custom tabs. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.